make a new winter soap called Wild Berry Blizzard. And I have my oils ready to go. And I'm going to put in my coconut milk. Oops. Got dipped my cup in there just a little bit. I'm going to give that a blend. solution. Here's some lilac, but it's fresh lilac, so it'll be soft enough to blend in. I want to pour some off for the white. I'm just going to pour it into this square container. Let's see. Give it a smidgen more. I'm going to go ahead and give this one some white. and just do it. I hope it works out. I have blended a mix of berries of cranberry and my elderberry, some huckleberry, um, some wintery candy apple type. So good. So, so good. to those that don't like it when I just take the stick blender out. I'm kind of just trying to get things accomplished here. And so I'm not doing it this day. Here, I'm going to go ahead and pour this out into this bucket. Oh my, everything's quite full. Alright, so in this bucket, I'm going to attempt to get a nice blue. Fragrance oil is a little bit yellow. It may tan just a bit. Some of the fragrances I used are mild, mildly tanning type. So we'll see. That looks good. This one's gonna be purple.
It's looking pretty good. I'll just a titch more. And this one's gonna be pink. Kind of a berry pink. Start pouring. Smells so good, and it is not attempting to accelerate, so that is nice. I'm okay with blending. I just thought it'd be so pretty these colors together. I got the idea spontaneously last night. We brought in to use a soap. It was an older soap called Sunset Skies. And it was so pretty with the pink and um, the blue, but then it created purple in some places. So, that's where I got my idea to do, oops, looks like I need to stir. That's where I got my idea to make this design. And add a little bit of white on top to be a bit of a blizzardy look. I thought that'd be fun, right? I've added in a little bit of a snow fairy fragrance as well. Snow fairy type. So I think just all of them together. Oh my goodness, it is so good. Starting to thick it up now. I was looking at my white over there and it may be a little too thick. So I probably should have held off, but since it didn't have any scent in it, I thought I'd go ahead and get it mixed up so that it could be coming to a little better thickness. Well, I do believe it did it. And then some. This is very, very messy. This is almost like Kind of smells like a sweet tart or something. And maybe one of my most favorite berry scents that I have ever done. I do love good berry scent. That is so pretty. Pretty thick, but still pourable, I think. So, this should work out. So, what I want to do is pour it down in for starters. I did want to just leave enough to cover the top, but I did want to have enough to cover the top, but now I'm not so sure that's going to happen. 
I used quite a bit. I probably I probably shouldn't have done the last little bit, but we'll make it work. I wanted this just to have a nice layer on the top of white, but whatever. So to finish this off, I just have some uh, blue and purple and pink salt that I've colored. So I sprinkle it on. quite what I was going for, but it's acceptable. I like it. Now for some purple. Oh my goodness, I just, oh. These three colors together, they just get me. I love it. Okay. Woo. I am colorful. So now I'm just going to take some snowflake kind of a, whoa, hello, white mica. It's coming out way faster than I realized. I couldn't even see it. Not a mica, kind of a bi, it's a biodegradable glitter. It's, just, it's a white one. I thought would go well with this. Okay, so I'm gonna call that good. So here we have Wild Berry Blizzard Soap and I will see you back here for the cut. It's time to cut the Wild Berry Blizzard Soap. It turned out so nice. I love the sprinkles on the top. I don't know if you can see it very well, if I get it in there and get it to focus, that that white uh, glitter is just super pretty. And the inside also looks great. Such great colors. And it smells so good. Oh my goodness, it smells, ah, oh, it smells so good. Mmm. If you like my wild elderberry soap and that's kind of intense grape berry flavor, I think you're going to love this one. Of course, I've combined other berries into it that just make the whole thing oh, spectacular. It's just truly spectacular scent. It is indeed 
a wild berry blizzard. So I've got a little bit of modeling in the color and that just happens every now and again. But I've started using some deodorized cocoa butter. And back in the day, we were all having some issues with the cocoa butter blooming a little bit in the soap. So I'm not entirely convinced that it isn't something to do with the cocoa butter and its um, makeup, but it still is great. It just is not an issue for me. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So the white ended up, it's a little bit different than I thought it was going to be. I did not think it was gonna sink so low. I thought it was just gonna be right up here, but it's all good. It's still pretty. The white is a super contrast to the other colors. And I do think some of the colors are intensifying as, they, um, as they've been cut and curing. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe it's just, just different because they're drying. But this is one that's been sitting on the curing rack for a little bit. And I just think it, it's so much smoother and prettier than the first cut soap bars. I think this is a fun addition to a holiday line to just kind of have something that is non-traditional and not something that people really expect. Mm, that one's really pretty. I just I love the sprinkles just makes me happy so happy I'm probably gonna try to put together a holiday set we'll see how it goes it can be so difficult to find packaging without paying an arm and a leg for it because I know you guys enjoy sets but we don't necessarily want to pay so much above just for a pretty box unless you're giving it as a gift of course but i find that a lot of people kind of it's one of those things they buy things with my soap as gifts and then they keep it for themselves which i can't blame them for that good stuff i might have a hard time parting with some of these soap bars just love them i love it i am going to have some soaps that were made um, that don't have a video so definitely keep an eye on when the release is right now I'm planning my holiday re release for Black Friday so I don't usually do Black Friday and the reason is because I've always had my holiday release a little bit earlier and so I have pending orders and I don't do sales if I have pending orders, I just don't think it's fair not to apply it to anything that's pending. So I don't tend to have sales, but this year my plan is to have the release with the sale. So how exciting is that? I don't look really nice. So be sure to check out my social media my Facebook business page, my Facebook group page. I have Twitter, I have Instagram, I have Instagram regular, and then I do post on the stories. So definitely keep track because if there's any changes in release dates or sale information or anything of the such, that's where I'm gonna post it. So be sure to keep an eye on that. Oh, this is cool. That's a cool final bar. It's almost like the glowing like a glowing moon in a winter storm. Alright guys, I'll see you for the next one. Thanks for watching.